Alright, so in this lesson, we're going to show you how to install and set up Android Studio for Flutter and Dart. So if you have Android Studio already installed, be sure that you update it to the latest version and follow along with the rest of this video lesson because we're going to show you how to add the Flutter and Dart packages to Android Studio. Now, if you don't have Android Studio installed, be sure to click on the link in the Flutter installation instructions and go ahead and click on download Android Studio. And once it's downloaded, simply go ahead and install Android Studio onto your Windows machine. Now, once you've installed Android Studio, be sure to go through the Android Studio setup wizard. This installs the latest Android SDK, Android SDK platform tools, and Android SDK build tools, which are going to be required by Flutter when it's building your Android app. Now, it's kind of strange that you download a software and then you have to download some more stuff, but this is how Android Studio works and you'll start to get used to it. But once you're done, then you should be able to open up Android Studio and you'll see the welcome screen like this. And you're gonna go to configure and go to settings and we're gonna go to the plugin tab. Now, in order to install Flutter and Dart plugins, you're gonna go over to browse repositories and you're gonna search for Flutter. And it should be the one that has simply just the name Flutter in it. And you're gonna go ahead and click on install. And be sure to accept any pop-ups that come up. Now, when you install the Flutter plugin, it's also going to install the Dart plugin together. So you can go ahead and click yes for that pop-up too. Now, once it's done, you have to restart Android Studio for the effects to take place. So be sure to click restart when it prompts you to restart Android Studio and activate the changes in our plugins. And now once that's done, you'll be able to see a new menu item in the welcome screen where it says to start a new Flutter project. So if you can see this in the welcome screen, then consider this lesson successful. You are now set up to use Flutter and Dart to develop Flutter apps for Android. So in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up the Android emulator and build a new Flutter project to run it and test it out. So for all of that and more, I'll see you on the next lesson.